CUKSHB. It's our effort to highlight the helpers in our community. And today, those helpers are all in one town putting their collective skills together to help people in towns nationwide. Here's 41 Action News reporter Emma James. It might only take one person to make a single mask, but to make thousands, it takes a lot of help and a lot of hours on the sewing machine. Thankfully, the Arnolds tell me they're happy to do it. As long as we got supplies and demand, we're going to keep sewing. Stacy Arnold and her mom Brenda say social distancing was getting tough, so they found a way to spend their time. For the last month, the mother and daughter and other family members they've recruited have sewn thousands of masks. But it, it makes me feel good too to know that I can be doing something besides just roaming around thinking, well, what am I going to clean today and stuff. In a town of a little more than 3,000 people, word travels fast. People in town donated money, materials, and even sewing machines. It, it's just been phenomenal how many people here in this small town has donated stuff and everything. Thanks to the community support, the masks are going all over the metro and all over the country. Um, they've been shipped out to Florida, California, Kentucky. They decide where to send the masks, mostly by word of mouth and social media, many of them going to companies and retirement homes. It's hard work. It, it's exhausting, too. I mean, there's some nights we work, what, 12, 13 hours sewing mm -hmm. straight. But knowing they're making a difference makes it all worth it. You know, we're grateful that we're able to help people do this and provide for them. In Kansas City, Emma James, 41 Action News.